Hey, hello and welcome to Flowmotion. So today we talk about rendering and exporting from After Effects. So simply go to File, Render, and... Huh? There's no render in there? Hmm, strange. So let's try File, Export, and Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue, Add to Render Queue, or to Premiere, to Cinema 4D, uh, no. I simply want to create a video out of my composition. So, real quick, for all of you who don't have any time for my blah 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 and only want to quickly render out a video and upload to your favorite social media, here's how to do that in 10 seconds. So, go to your comp, go to composition, add to render queue and there go to output module and choose H264. Click OK. Next click on output 2 and choose your file destination and click on render. Done. Hey, and for all of you who want to learn a bit more, we go back to the beginning. I will show you the main formats you use today for renders and I will show you how to do it in After Effects and once you understood that, I will also show you how to do it in the media encoder and why it sometimes really makes sense to use that. Now, let's talk about why we actually want to render. Because there are mainly two reasons. The first. Video and editing is finished, ready for delivery. So I send it to a client in the best possible quality. Or I upload my masterpiece to social media with a good quality if possible. Or second, I don't render it because it's finished, but because it's part of a puzzle and I plan to do something else with it afterwards. For example, color grading or it's just a composite of green screen clips I still have to key. Or even better, I have already keyed them and now render them with an alpha channel so I can continue working on them more efficiently. So, let's start at the top. If you want to render something for delivery to a client, the Apple ProRes codec is your best friend. Not only is it the best, but it also is the most common file format for professional work these days. Why is that? because it is able to store the most amount of information possible within your file. So, we do the same as before. Go to the composition and add it to our render queue. Now in the output module you can choose QuickTime and in the format options you have all ProRes codecs. Hey, there are six different ones in here. 422 Proxy, 422 LT, 422 422HQ, 4444 and 4444XQ. Hey, and the order is also the quality order. So do not get confused with the order within the drop down here in After Effects as they are ordered alphabetically here. Unfortunately, 422 Proxy has the lowest quality with the lowest data rate and 4444XQ has the highest quality. Don't get me wrong here, even the lowest ProRes codec is perfect for professional work. Or in other words, if we take a look at the lowest and best, you won't see a difference with the naked eye. And the conclusion, if you send something to a client, you want to send the best possible quality. So go for ProRes 4444XQ. You can't do anything wrong with that. But we can also answer the second question with that. If you want to do anything else with the video, grading or keying, you can do nothing wrong with that too. Hey, and both of the 4444 codecs also offer an alpha channel. So when you choose one of them, you can then go to the channels and select RGB plus alpha. Perfect. Indeed, sometimes you simply decide on your hard drive storage which codec you choose out of all of them. But they are all too big for social media. So for all those concerns, we have an H.264 codec that creates an MP4 file for us. And yes, you could call this the YouTube codec or YouTube file format. Again, add to the render queue and next to the output module you can twirl down and find three presets for low, middle and high. Simply choose the highest and use that for everything that is supposed to hit the internet. Okay, now we know that we can make our lives a little more chilled by simply create presets for us so we don't have to do that ever again. Hey, 
Also important for you to know, if you have stored a preset, you can forget all the information from today's video and have enough free space for some fun stuff. <laughs> so let's twirl it down again. Click on Make Template. And in the Edit tab, you can now set everything up. So I choose the best ProRes codec and also RGB plus alpha channel and call this, well, Flow Motion Template. And now we have it here forever and I only use that. Because even if there is no alpha channel within the video, I can still use it. And if there is one, I don't have to do anything extra. Don't work hard. Work smart. Okay. And now let's do the same in the Adobe Media Encoder. Why? That was so much information already. Mm. Why not just use the After Effects render queue? Hmm. And there are a few good reasons to sometimes use the Media Encoder. Go to Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue, and that will open it up and already place your comp in there. If you render something in the Media Encoder, you can still work in After Effects at the same time. And the second cool trick is that you can drag and drop compositions from different projects in the render queue and hit Start and it will render all of them without opening and closing projects or wait for anything. And on the plus sign, you can again create your own preset. So, enough presets for today. Or do you still have questions about settings and codecs? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to get more useful tips and tricks in the future. And now, I wish you a lot of fun rendering.